Well, I think we'll see that. Yeah, you were saying, oh, look at me, I look terrible in that clip. I want to see that again. <laughs> it must be amazing to have a character to get your teeth into. I mean, she's it's been through a lot. Yeah, she's been great, and she's very different from me, which has been lovely to play, and I never got bored, which was which was great. So, yeah, she's been a really important part of my life. And also, last night... Dramatic scene. Oh, last night. my goodness. What was that like for you, watching that back? Surreal. Yeah, really strange. I've seen it twice now. Last night I watched it with some some champagne. I just really need to say really quickly to my um, godchildren that I'm fine, Pollyanna and Posey. Oh. <laughs> Little darling is fine. It wasn't real. Oh, good see, that must they, be they are, they are yeah. but, but Because it looked, I mean, it looked extraordinary. I mean, yeah. I, it, it was quite a stunt. I mean, just talk us through how, you know, you, you put that stunt together. How long did it take to film? How we you... filmed it over four days in Scarborough. Um, there were sort of four elements, really. There was the crash that you see, the, 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 the car going down the hill. They pulled it by these enormous cables down the hill. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And I had to get into a turntable to do the handbrake turn that you will have seen. While the car was going down the hill, you saw me in it, which was the best part of it all, I think, because it looked really, really real. And they put me on basically like a, a rotisserie chicken thing that oh you would find God. in the car and spun me sort of upside down slow motion and sped it all up. It was amazing and the, and the stunt guys were amazing as well. Did you feel a bit sick with that whole kind of tension? <laughs> they kept asking me to go fast. <laughs> they wouldn't. And would, you, would you have liked to have uh, exited Everdale under different circumstances? Would you have liked to have been able to, because you know often they'll either they'll, you know, be, you'll see them drive yeah, off yeah, the car. Yeah, I um, Well, actually, to be honest, I, I gave my um, notice in with lots of time, uh, mainly sort of for courtesy, but also I wanted something kind of memorable and and something to get my teeth into and, and I didn't want to go away in a taxi and you know when there's a serial killer on the loose you kind of think okay if I've given them that much notice I think I know the way I'm probably going to go and and it's closure for me it's the best possible way I wanted to, to, to go and five years was amazing it's the most amazing experience I've made best friends made the most amazing memories um, and now I can move on and it's a clean break and I'm delighted with it I think it, it went down Twitter went insane sure. yes, yeah it, it, it really did I, I'm still going through it all um, so thank you to everybody for, for their lovely messages but um yeah it, it, it's done and and what an amazing time I've had as you just said you've left you know a brilliant cast behind and you've left Cameron do you yes. think he's gonna get away with it again there's a dictaphone that they haven't found. Where's the dictaphone? We haven't seen it yet. I think, I mean, I don't know. I know as much as you okay. do, but I wonder whether Jenny might actually be the one to bring him down in the end anyway. Well, Hopefully, that would be great. You mentioned some of the reactions you've seen on, on Twitter. What has been the response from Emmerdale fans? Have they been disappointed to see you guys? Yeah, uh, well, the ones that have sent me messages. I don't know, there might be some parties <laughs> going on somewhere. Um, yes, I think people have been really lovely. Um, Jenny and Nicky were very popular, I believe, and that was really nice. Um, there's been a lot of devastation, <laughs> yeah. I felt a little bit like, take that with splitting up or something like oh. that. But, um, yeah, uh, people have been really emotional about it, I think. It's, it, was a, you know, it, was, it wasn't nice to watch, I don't think. <laughs> but, you know, it's good. And what's it been like saying goodbye to the cast and crew? Yeah, that must be tough, because it's such an important part of yeah, your life. hugely important part of my life. Really hard, but, you know, I've, I've made friends for life, and I have absolutely no doubt that I will see a lot of them all the time hopefully as long as they don't forget me they've probably already forgotten me so you've been you know living that. in leeds as well so are you going to stay in leeds i'm or are you not moving? i'm moving back to london next monday and i can't wait yeah i'm going to get my life back for a little while i think <laughs> and kind of uh, live it again because it's just relentless the pace on a show like that uh, i've learned so much doing it but it's you know it takes its toll so i'm excited do you kind of, when you are part of a show i mean it does over it does consume your life it does uh, yeah i don't think people realize the diary that you have to... It, it's, it's, for the last year in particular, which has been my busiest year, I think I've probably worked every day for at least 10 hours a day. So. A lot of people don't realise that um, Emma was in uh, EastEnders. Were you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who does this to me? He just brings things up. Out of nowhere. Didn't it's hard, isn't it? Someone? Had to Didn't mug you mug someone? Yeah, <laughs> not very nice. I did. I wasn't a very nice person. It's uh, hard work, though, but right? But it's hard work being nasty. Yes. Can you imagine it's being mugged by Emma Bunton? <laughs> that would be a clean to though, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had to mug anyone? <laughs> no, maybe the next job. <laughs> <laughs> and you were nearly Bianca. I was nearly Bianca, yeah, yes. That. Got down to the last six for Bianca, yeah. How different you're I know, <laughs> how different. So, John, now that you've said goodbye uh, to Emmerdale, what happens next? Have you got any plans for the future? I'm going to sleep and see my parents. <laughs>
which will be lovely. Um, I am really happy to kind of sit back and relax for a little while. I need the break. Um, I want to get back on stage. I kind of want to do it all. And as far as I'm concerned, it's it's a marathon. It's not a sprint, this kind of acting business. And, and I know there'll be a bit of downtime. Um, I just want to be doing it when I'm 80 on Zimmer Frames. And I've, I've got no intention of doing anything else. So... I'm going to have to make it work somehow. After your little break, do you think you might go off to the US or something and try, um, you know, America? I don't know. I'm, I'm very happy here, to be honest. I can't wait to just get back into London life. So, we'll see. Who knows? Oh, well, I know that you're okay. going to be missed and Jenny will be missed. We had a lot Thank of people. You, yes. uh, the hub has been, people been getting in touch with the in hub. Touch, how much they're going to miss you. I've got lots of emails you said earlier. So, well, it's the best I'm going to miss everything. it too. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Uh, now, still to come, Auntie's expert Tracy Martin has some top tips on which royal they.